I'm back. I just had an epic seizure. I just, things could not have gone worse for me. <laughs> I got a feeling that elevator isn't coming down empty. We should get behind stuff. <laughs> Open. Watch out! Watch for the drone! <laughs> Not that one! Here we go! Getting up close! That Krogan's gonna be a bastard. Back the head there! Oh, poor Miranda. Sorry about that, love. Watch it. And then watch it fall. Miranda went down. Oh, oh, mate. Oh, mate. Mate. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, mate. That's cray cray. I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry, my team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. We don't need any reinforcements. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Turn around very slowly. Damn it. Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's right through there. They'll be all over you. <laughs> Is a little information really worth dying over? Is Nasana? No. I suppose not. Okay, look. Last I heard, the assassin was down on the mezzanine. But the teams on the bridge think they might have spotted him. Nobody knows for sure. Get out of here. I'm going. That was tense. Viper, haven't we? God damn it. Oh, Grunt. Grunt, you magnificent bastard. I could hug you all day and just whatever, man. Pretty sure. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nasana. 
pretty sure there's more dudes locked in here. As you can see, we're reaching the uh, end of the mission now. It's a nice little mission. Are you guys all right in here? Get back! Get back! I'll shoot! Drop the gun, lizard. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said <laughs> Grunt's get back. awesome. I'll do it! I've never taken Please. him on this mission. Don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs, and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. That's a shuriken machine pistol. You'd never take my barriers Don't down in time. So. Tell him. He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the merc? It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Tell him was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. That's very precise shooting. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit... on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favourite Talon on the Citadel. <laughs> Stealing Eclipse Merc PDA money hack, blah blah blah. Juba jubu, la da da da. Ah, oh, oh crap, what did I do? Why did I do that? What am I doing? Where am I? What is this place? Oh, it's just gone past. I really fucked that up, haven't I? I should maybe stop singing songs. <laughs> Alright, let's go across this bridge. If I remember rightly, uh, you don't have to worry about the bridge, but you can throw people off of it. But it's just full of snipers. Which is another reason why we picked up the uh, sniper rifle. Hello, Jack. Voicing random mercs. Mind over matter. It's not a bad sniper rifle, I just 
You know, I'd rather have the, uh, what's it called, the Black Widow. Yeah, from Mass Effect 3, it, it, it costs like all of your money. That's the way we've got to go, I assume, yeah. Right, so now we have to fight our way across the rooftops. Oh, latest, mate. That's not how you're supposed to do that. Submachine gun, eh? Why is my camera all shaky? That's weird. Oh, fuck's sake. I'm not having a good day today. Because I had an epic Caesar earlier. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. Anyway. This looks interesting. Okay, so we've got to get across there. The wind, I think it also blows powers away, and then there's a bunch of snipers up there, and then that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a couple of tough guys on the other side, but nothing we haven't already handled on this level. And I mean, there's no harbinger. You've been spotted. general idea is if you can uh, get them in the air they kind of get blown off like that I think I it what you do. No also blows powers away now. Oh, A couple of turrets up there, yeah. You can see them now. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to get a sniper rifle out. Fucking turrets up here. Oh, Grunt! What the fuck are you doing, man? Last time we saw these turrets was in Overlord. Shaky cab, man. Enemy down. Nice. Good girl. What the hell are you waiting for? Just kill them. Found that one. I'll put them down. Yeah. 
can't get a lock. I have no idea. I can't fucking. I can't get anyone. Weakening their integrity. Take a cover. This is going on too long. Let's just get thing done, man. For fuck's sake. Right, you go around here, and I'm pretty sure it's for the dude, so we're going to get shotgun out. Yeah. I always remember on Insanity her just killing me over and over again because I always did this with like Kazumi and like Jacob or something stupid like that. Wait. Before you kill me, just tell me who hired you. I'm not an assassin, Nasana, but I'm looking for one. You break in here and decimate my security just to find the person who's here to kill me? <laughs> what are you playing at, Shepard? What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. That's my boy. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance. You and I are going to. Who? My boy. Outside, someone's tapping things. It's a bit annoying. Stop. So that. this is our guy. Good. Oh, he's a fucking badass. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. You used me so you could kill her. I needed a diversion. You needed to speak with me. You certainly fulfilled your end of the bargain. What would you like to discuss? Someone's been abducting entire human colonies. We're gonna stop them. We already know the culprits. A race called the Collectors. I've heard of them. Your eyes glitched. Attacking the Collectors would require <clears throat> passing through the Omega-4 relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. 
You built a career on performing the impossible. Eye glitch, what the this hell? This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. My boy Thane. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Jimmy Fowles. This has been Jimmy Fowles and Mass Effect 2. And we finally got my boy Thane. I only have to use Miranda once more. Heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously, he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Yep. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah. And he may not. Fuck off, Jacob. No one likes you. You cheat on Shepard of your romance, sir. I mean, you sit there and you bitch about your dad. Yeah, my dad was a dick. God. Right. Let's... Put all these upgrades. Okay, well, um, I guess I will see you cool cats on the flip-flop. I'm more interested Sounds in Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. I bet we have a lot more friends once we win. Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. <clears throat> Maybe. I'm mm -hmm. surprised by Thane's spiritual side. Mm, yeah. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. A lot of women like you. I live a dangerous life. Dangerous men fit right in. I like you more and more each day, Shepard. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Latest bitch! 
Thane's going to give us some probes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I think. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Ship enhancements. Modular probe bay. <clears throat> probe me, Thane. Probe me. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment. I've already upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul <coughs> name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. Such fucking badass. It's based on birds. If you look at the early prototype designs, and then they were like, they made this really outlandish, like tropical bird thing, and then they're like, oh no, we want, we want to have them as a romance. We've got to make them look more peopley. I always thought that was a shame. Mass Effect constantly dumbing itself down. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. Are you gonna be alright till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. <laughs> Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Same. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaje, or use breathers. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Bye, Thanny Poo.